Hello, my name is Dennis Miller from MSCTC, Minnesota State Community and Technical College in Moorhead, Minnesota. Hopefully you had a chance to look at the other film regarding the Hunter Wheel Balancer Road Force Machine 9700 and you got the idea of how to mount the tire and rim and go through the balancing procedure. Today I'm going to show you uh, matching the tire to the rim. As I said before, <coughs> this system or this balancer has a wheel that puts approximately 1,500 pounds of force against the tire to measure uh, possibly inconsistencies with uh, rim, tire, maybe a high spot or a low spot or a tread difference or some irregularity with the tire that might account for it to be maybe not rolling as smooth. So I, had to, I took the liberty to go about uh, running a balance on this tire and I'll show you some of the results. Hopefully you can see the, um, the screen. Here this one shows 24 pounds of road force variation, meaning around this tire there was a change of, of road force of 24 pounds. 24 pounds is possibly acceptable, but we'd rather be less than 20 so that we get uh, uh, a nice round tire. So consequently, we're going to do some rim tire matching. So what we'll do after we've run this tire, we'll uh, scroll down to another task bar and, and go to K4, show run out and force matching. And if we look at this tire after I've run this uh, test, what I've done is I've shown a screen here where they're showing putting chalk lines on the tire and one on the rim. So easy enough to do is just the machine has figured it out by pushing the start key will rotate the tire to where they want the chalk line for the tire which is shown in green here so what we'll do is we'll we'll chalk the tire right here we'll go back hit the start key again watching the tire it'll rotate the tire now it's showing you to chalk the rim. Then we'll take and chalk the rim and go back to our tire machine and line the tire up with the rim. So I took the liberty to do that to this tire just to show you the difference. So I took this tire off and matched up the two chalk lines. As you can see, I've matched them up. And again, we show 24 pounds of road force, and we'll go through the test again and see what we've, how we've changed it and, and uh, how much better we've made this assembly. We'll do one more check here. We're going to show you how to do, to do the rim runout if you didn't get that from the last film. So I'll hit the K3 key and it will direct me to using the device to measure the rim. We're going to take this roller, apply it on the metal bead of the rim and this roller here on the bead of the rim holding it in place, push this button and it will rotate the wheel and giving us run out radial and laterally of the rim. This way the, the machine can detect high and low spots of the rim and the wheel here was going to detect any highs and lows and vari road variation force on the tire and we're going to match the two. That's what I had to do prior to finding out where to place the tire and rim. So that's been done. So now what I'm going to do is go back and 
rerun this tire and see what's happened to our road force. Remember, we had 24 pounds of road force on this tire. I'll have to do one more thing. I'll have to come back and if I'm going to rebalance, I'll have to reset this. So just like in the other film I had shown you to set this up, we're going to pick our weights and let this thing balance. Going through the road force, checking radial lateral force and also spinning the wheel two different directions and checking the imbalance. I don't know if you can see it right now, but we're showing only 12 pounds of road force. So we've helped this tire by 12 pounds, bringing it from 24 road force variation down to 12. That's a significant change. It should help the, uh, the trueness of this wheel and you will notice a difference driving this vehicle when you have a reduced road force like that. Don't, remember, don't forget that you have to go back and balance the tire because you had to take the wheel weights off in order to check the rim runout. So what we've done is just change the road force. Now you must go back and apply your weights and spin the, ve or the uh, tire so that you can get it into balance. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. My name is Dennis Miller at M State, MSCTC in Moorhead, Minnesota. Thank you.